okay, I'm good. Let's go! Hello and welcome to a game called Terraria. And today we're going to be creating our character for the future Let's Play. So we're a male. Let's go over this hair here. No, this hair. Our hair colour is going to be brown. Our eye colour, let's make that green. Skin colour. Shirt colour. Undershirt colour. Let's go with yellow. Let's have some jeans on. And grey shoes. We can call the character anything we want. I don't know what to call it. Clash Royale account. But we're going to call it YouTube now. But, no, let's just call it Leon Show and Yo. So that's our character. Let's go upload up a world. We'll be playing offline. Let's just have a small world. Calling the world YouTube. So I call it YouTube, I'm just gonna show you that. There's proof that I call it YouTube. So let's go do this. So I'll be back when this generates. Oh yeah, you have to wait and I'll put some cool music in. It's not that cool though. <laughs> So we're back. Don't mind me, I'm just going to put the music up. Well, let's go mine this thing. This is called Copper Roll. Let's go mine it. So, we're in the world of Terraria. By the way, the people who play this game are called Terrarians. So I'm a big Terrarian. Let's go mine some trees. We should build a house quick. It's the same rule for any game where there's monsters. Build a house or the monsters will come and get you. So let's go get some wood. By the way, I will be doing some terraria work off camera. Like, I'll do some extra detail for the house. But, by the way, there's no shovels in this game. Your ability and there's no stone tools, so don't be thinking that your tools will break. You'll need stone tools. You'll be a noob. That that's a terraria noob. A terraria noob. A terrain. A terraria noob. That's a terraria noob. So let's go build our first room. Make it about that big. No, make it a bit longer. This is our little room. 
for our guide. Our guide is called Zach. Zach the guide. He look a bit like that. That is his face. The requirement for the guide is nothing. He spawns in your world instantly. So don't be saying, how did you get the guide? How? How did you get him? That means you're still a terrain noob. If you do that and you ask, how do you get the guide? You're a double terrain noob. So we just place a bit of copper by mistake. Let's go do this. Place our workbench in the little house. Two chairs. By the way, your house has to be six blocks high and ten blocks wide for an NPC to move in. You also have to have a table of chairs, doors, a light source, and a background. That's what you, that, they're the requirements you need for an NPC to move in. So you've got our two doors. Place. Yeah, our terrarian character is three blocks tall. We can jump, we can jump a maximum Oh. Let me just make this seven block. We can jump a maximum of. Let me see what we can get on top. Seven blocks. Let's just place our doors in now. Cross the wooden walls. Six dirt in our inventory. All right. And let's build the walls of our house. I'm going to be back in a second. Yes, we did. By the way, gel is used to make torches. Oh yeah, you also need a hammer to destroy backgrounds. The walls that you place in order for your NPC to move in. Oh, you need a hammer to destroy those too. So let's go destroy this wooden one. Let's go destroy this side's wooden background. Let's destroy this dirt block that just got tinted. You can also change blocks with the wooden hammer to a different shape. So let's go put some torches in our house. Then let's go craft ourselves a wooden sword and a wooden bow. A wooden sword, a wooden bow, and a wooden hammer. Then what you want to do is click the Y button and click LB, I mean RB and RB again. And then Zach should have a little house on him. Then click Y on Zach and it, this should come up. That means Zach has moved in to your terraria house or whatever your guy's name is. Your guy has moved into your terraria house and this will work with any other terraria NPC. 
But you do need requirements. If you haven't checked out a requirement video on YouTube, to find out the requirements you need for an NPC to move in your house. So that'll be the end of this video. So, bye.